In this session, we are going to discuss YARN, Y-A-R-N, yet another resource negotiator. YARN is a resource manager which keeps track of various resources such as memory and CPU of the machines in the network. It also runs applications on the machines and keeps track of what is running where. Before jumping into YARN's architecture, let's try to understand with an example why we need distributed computing. Let us say we have a computer with 1 GHz processor and 1 GB RAM. It takes 20 milliseconds to read the profile pic from the disk and then 5 more milliseconds to resize it. How much time would this computer take to resize a million profile pics? Can we do two things in parallel while dealing with so many pics? Yes, because reading from the disk involves mainly the disk and resizing mainly involves CPU and RAM. So, reading and resizing can be done in parallel as shown in the diagram. In this diagram, time is increasing from left to right. You can see that while pick 1 is being resized, pick 2 is being read from the disk. For 3 picks, it takes 20 times 3 plus 5 milliseconds for resizing, not 25 times 3. So, it would take 65 milliseconds, not 75 milliseconds. So, it is only the disk read time that matters. We can completely ignore last 5 milliseconds on a large scale. For 1 million picks, it would be 1 million times 20 milliseconds, which is approximately 5.5 hours. 5.5 hours is not good enough. So, the next question is, how can we make it faster? If we use a computer which has 4 cores or processors, can this process finish in less than 5.5 hours? No, because it's not the CPU which is causing the delay. The main time is being consumed in the disk read. If we make disk reads faster, the process will become the faster. Disk reads can be made faster by using solid-state drives or by using many disk drives. 